passed. So the clock is split into two. The half of the clock, the half of the clock from 12 to 6 is called the past. The past, as in past the hour. So if the minute hand is in this half, then we work out how many minutes past the hour. Remember, with minutes, each number on the face is also considered as five minutes. So, if the minute hand is at one, then that is five minutes. If the hand is at six, that is 30 minutes. Then, if it is in the past, the hour, we say five minutes past or 30 minutes past. We also read the hour hand as it is, whatever number it is on. So let's have a look at some clocks. Fifteen minutes, fifteen minutes past five. Fifteen minutes past five. Ten minutes past three. Ten minutes past three. So ten minutes past three. Twenty five minutes past two. Twenty five minutes past two. So twenty five minutes past two. Twenty five minutes past two. Five minutes past ten. Five minutes past ten. Five minutes past ten. So remember, the clock is split into two, two halves. So the half of the clock from six to twelve is called two. Two, as in two, the next hour. So if the minute hand is in this half, then we work out how many minutes to the next hour. Again, remember, minutes. Each number of the face is also considered as five minutes. However, we are now looking at how many minutes to the next hour. So if the minute hand is on seven, then it is 25 minutes to. If the minute hand is on nine, it's 15 minutes to. If it's on eight, 20 minutes to. We also read whatever the next hour is. So if the hour hand is on five, we would read minutes to six. 
And let's have a look at some clocks. Five minutes, two, one. Five minutes, two, one. Five minutes, two, one. Twenty minutes, two, three. Twenty minutes, two, three. Twenty minutes, two, three. Ten minutes, two, eight. Ten minutes, two, eight. Ten minutes to eight. Twenty five minutes to eleven. Twenty five minutes to eleven. Twenty five minutes to eleven. We can make it a bit easier for ourselves as the clock is split up into four. So one, one, two, three, four. Depending on the minutes, on, depending on the minute hand. If it is on zero minutes, we say a clock, a clock. If it's 15 minutes, we say quarter past, quarter past. If the hand is 15 minutes, it's quarter past. If it's 30 minutes past, we can say half past, half past, half past. And if it's 15 minutes to, we can say quarter to, quarter to, yeah, quarter to. A clock, quarter past, half past, Quarter two. With the second hand, we need to be careful because the second hand isn't used that often. However, if we do need seconds, then the second hand works the same way as the minute hand. For example, each number on the face is also considered five seconds. So, if the second hand is at one, then that is five seconds. If it's at six, then it's 30 seconds. Then, if it is past the hour, we say five seconds and, or, and 30 seconds. So, if it's past the hour, we say and five seconds and 30 seconds. So, for example, we could say twenty five minutes past 
10 and 5 seconds. Twenty five minutes past ten and five seconds. Remember, the second hand has to go around the face once before the minute hand moves one. The minute hand has to go around the face once before the hour hand moves one. We also need to look at digital. So we can also use digital clocks. These are commonly found on phones or on computers. The digital clock is a lot easier to read. All you need to do is read out the numbers. For example, if the hour and the minutes, if it's 37, if it's 23 minutes to 12, all we'd have to say is 11.37. 11.37. This one, 10.15. Or quarter past 10. 12.53. Or 7 minutes to 1. 11.37, 10.15, 12.53. Here we can say nine o'clock or nine hundred hours. Nine forty five, twenty one hundred hours, twenty one thirty. Digital clocks, however, might go up to twenty four hours. This is because there are twenty four hours in a day. If not, then the clock might use AM or PM. AM means before midday. Before midday, which is 12 o'clock. PM means past midday. Past midday. So anytime past 12 o'clock. Thank you very much.